Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a knuckle joint in Ketia V5. In this whole tutorial series I'll be using the part design and wireframe and surface design. And finally I'm going to assemble all of the parts like the fork end of the road, the eye end of the road, the pin and the collar together using the assembly design workbench. On the right side you can see the completed design of the knuckle joint. On the left side you can see the different drawings which are required to create it. Now I'll just open up a new file and I'll name it as the fork end of the road which means that I'm going to explain how you can create the fork end of the road uh, over here. Okay. Now to start off I'll just start with this particular part right here. So this is of uh, 28 and 28 and the circle is of 25 and 50. So I'll just start with the circle here. Two concentric circles. Make sure they're concentric. And uh, they are of diameter 25 and 50. What you can do is come out of the sketch and do a uh, padding. So there is a tricky thing about this padding over here. So you can just uh, th this is something uh, which is going to be a new thing for you if you are a beginner or uh, maybe an intermediate. All right, let me just uh, give 18 plus 15, 18, 15 plus 18 over here. Okay, and on over here. I'll just give minus 15. So we got this part here. Now I'll just select this plane and I'll again give a sketch. And I'll just project this part into 3D <coughs> and I'll again go for padding. This time I'll go for reverse direction. I'll give minus 15 again and we got this part too. So we didn't have to uh, you know create uh, extra whatever you call the uh, plane or anything. If you want you can actually use the measure item or the measure between and you can actually measure the distance between both of them which must be 30. So now what else is to be created now? Now from the center there is a circular portion over here which is at a distance of 30 and from there there is uh, 45 so 30 plus 45 I'll just create a plane at 30 plus 45 reverse direction 30 plus 45 we got a plane there so at that point we can actually create a rectangle. So I'll use a centered rectangle and what is the dimension 28 and 28. Come out the sketch. Just give uh, on this side reverse direction. This side you give 30. Preview and this side um, you can just uh, leave it like that this side will be sufficient give a 30 and then uh, you can create this part right here which is a circle over there which is of dimension 25 diameter come out the sketch and do a padding of uh, 20 as I've done before and then we need to create we need to project this to 3D which is uh, very similar to the creation of the eye end of the road just select this equidistant point 8 points and they are all in uh, dotted condition now use create a circle there all right now you 
can actually increase the diameter of the circle. So I want I don't want the circle to rotate. Okay, that must be sufficient. Now what you can do is you can select these two lines here, project it and make it as dotted lines and then trim this line here. Come out of the sketch and then you can actually create the curvature which you can see here. So I'll just give the sketch and select this, project it to 3D. see in the wireframe and surface design workbench. Just use a sweep, profile and guide curve. Alright. Now what you can do is insert operation symmetry, select the surface and create it on the other side. Select the surface operation symmetry create on the other side and then again select the surface here insert operation symmetry on the side too. So you got four surfaces there now come back to the part design workbench <coughs> use insert surface base feature split and select this split click on OK insert operation split again and again two more time that's it so I'm doing this a little fast because I've already explained the same technique uh, when I was creating the eye end of the road which you can see here so still this totally explains how you can create and we're going to create something in the middle right now and that I'm going to show you in the next part of the tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this if you have any doubts clarifications please uh, let me know you can uh, comment below the video or you can write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com you can also write regarding any projects or if you want me to handle any projects also you can do that thank you so much and stay tuned